Good Thursday morning. I'm Ashley Cunio with your Conjo Valley This Morning Update. Sonora and Sutton County officials are saying that the recovery from the weekend flood events will be a long process. County Judge Steve Smith said that on Wednesday that it'll take a very long time. The county needs more money and assistance for the residents who did not have insurance. Judge Smith also said that the flooding was almost a perfect match for the 1989 floodplain map. Thousands of San Angelo City water customers could receive account refunds dating back to 2009. City officials say that a coding error in the water billing system is the reason customers did not get their earned credits. They're working to refund $284,000 to more than 25,000 customers who did not receive their conservation discounts. The average account of credit will be about $11. Active customers will receive credits during their next billing cycle. And Wednesday's naturalization ceremony can now be regarded as one for the history books. It was one of the largest citizenship ceremonies in the Concho Valley's history. 75 people born in foreign countries were scheduled to take their oaths as new American citizens during the ceremony at Angelo State's C.J. Davidson Center, which was a larger venue for such a big ceremony. And the Tom Green County Democratic Party celebrated their San Angelo office grand opening on Wednesday afternoon. The office located at 12 East Tuig is in the same location that the party operated for the 2016 elections. Texas Land Commissioner candidate Miguel Suazo spoke at the grand opening event. County Democratic Party leaders say that they've seen a number of state Democratic candidates make stops in San Angelo recently. Elections are on November 6th and early voting begins October 22nd. Now let's see what's happening in weather with Tabon Sharifi. Tabon, it's a chillier start today, but what's the rest of the day look like? We'll stay below our seasonal averages for today, feeling comfortable. 78 for our high temperature, partly cloudy skies. Winds will remain out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we head into the evening and overnight hours, a low tonight of 60 degrees, so still feeling cooler out there throughout the evening. Clear skies. Winds will be out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we head into tomorrow, a slight warm up, but now we're finally back near seasonal averages here with an 86 for your high. Mostly sunny skies, southerly winds, 5 to 15 miles per hour. We do have some rain chances on the way as we head into the weekend.